Hello again, I'm Grant Abbott, you're watching Gabbit Media and we're doing Sculpt January and this is day number 21 I think, I'm losing track of the days now and the topic was pressure, uh, so I chose to do a uh, climber under pressure as you can kind of see on the screen. I thought, um, well, as I've said before, uh, one of the objectives of Sculpt January this year for me is to think about poses and to um, kind of uh, model uh, characters, uh, a lot of characters, uh, but uh, getting those poses right uh, is, is one of my focuses. Uh, because it's not just about rigging, uh, and in fact I'm not really concentrating on the rigging, I'm doing very basic rigs, but uh, putting them in position and then adapting them once they're in position. And I'm assuming, although I don't know the full workflow of animators, maybe someone out there can tell me if this is correct or not, but um, I'm assuming people use shape keys as they're known as, uh, and, when, and when characters are in uh, particular positions, so key frames or key poses, uh, then uh, the, um, the sculptor uh, will uh, keyframe a shape key so that uh, all the pinching that goes on, like you, that happens in games when you sort of bend your arm and you get a sort of pinchy weird bit there, um, you sort of sculpt that out and you flesh it out. Um, so that's uh, what I've been working on a bit, is that sort of stage of sculpting. Uh, so. Uh, in poses and uh, those sort of final detailed sculpts. So I use the female that I used before. Uh, so I've already made this one. I can't remember what it was. Oh, it was the um, liquid one where I made this female. Uh, so I didn't want to sort of repeat myself. I'm quite happy with that model. Um, and uh, so just put it into a nice pose and uh, so I could work on those uh, minor details. Uh, I thought, um, obviously I wanted to do some sort of cliff face as well, so I just quickly grabbed some rock brushes. I should have gone into a lot more effort with that, I think. Um, and actually, when I thought about it in the end, I thought, why didn't I just add a uh, nice uh, PBR rock texture uh, to it? So I'm not sure why I didn't do that. Uh, I kind of just forget that there's resources out there that are nice and simple to use, and I should have been using them. Uh, so. <laughs> Um, lessons learned, and I suppose that's it. Even obvious with things like that, I still uh, make uh, very sort of uh, noob-like mistakes, uh, and I'm fairly experienced. I say fairly exper experienced, but uh, re relatively experienced. I've had lots of years' experience with Blender. I'm not saying I'm the most amazing Blender artist or anything. Uh, it, someone commented on uh, one of my videos. They said, "You're not much of an artist, are you?" I thought, "Ah, oh, thanks." <laughs> <laughs> but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. That's the main thing and I'm enjoying the journey. And that's why I'm doing Sculpt January. Some people have kind of said, uh, well in fact someone else said in the Discord server, uh, you need to stop doing Sculpt January. Uh, I'm not sure what their motivation was behind the comment. Uh, I'm not uh, disrespecting anybody's comments either. Uh, it's just sort of got me thinking, oh well maybe other people aren't really enjoying this and uh, uh, am I, who am I doing this for? And it's a, it's a tricky question in some ways. Uh, I'm mainly doing it for me <laughs> because uh, if I get something out of this and I enjoy it, then I'll be able to help other people uh, with their sculpting. That's the thinking anyway. Um, if, as long as I'm enjoying it, then I can enjoy helping other people as well. Uh, I don't think I'm coming across quite right, but uh, my main focus, if you, if you don't enjoy teaching, for example, uh, then it's very hard slog every day trying to teach. Uh, so in the same way as I want to be doing the things that I teach and sculpting and uh, modeling and things like that and bring those into the classroom or onto YouTube, uh, hence my channel and things. Uh, so um, although, um, yes, I do uh, do request tutorials and things occasionally if it's an idea that I want to do. Uh, if it's something that doesn't interest me, then I probably won't because uh, it becomes like a job then, and uh, I don't want it to be quite like a job. Um, oh, it's gone black there. It's back there. I don't know quite why that happened. Uh, oh, actually, yes, I do. My uh, computer crashed for a second, but it was only my Wacom, so that was okay, and I didn't lose any work. Anyway, I, I've gone on a bit of a ramble there. I'll come back to the topic at hand. So I grabbed a sculpt brush um, and a rock brush for my sculpt, and it's, it looked all right, but then I decimated it later on, thinking, oh, well, it will render faster, and it won't matter too much anyway, but it did matter, and the, the rock looked pretty dreadful in the end, so I had to go back and kind of sculpt it again later on, but I didn't record that bit because that was a bit dull. Uh, the whole sculpt took, um, it was a fairly straightforward one, 
um, and the, the record time came in at under two hours, that's my first one, under two hours, and probably because I've already had the bass mesh there and uh, Sculpting Rocks is kind of fairly straightforward, not saying that I've got it particularly right, but it's fa they're fairly straightforward, uh, generally speaking. Uh, but there was a bit of faffing about uh, when I realised I decimated the rock too far and uh, it was too far gone so I had to go back and do it again. And a bit of messing around with the render because uh, although it's uh, it's not about rendering is it the sculpting challenge, it's, uh, it's about uh, sculpting, <laughs> weirdly. Uh, so, um, it, but it's, it's difficult uh, sometimes, you, you want to render uh, you, or you want to make them look nice. Uh, in the end, so it's, it's a tough one. Uh, how far do you take it with your renders, especially when you've got Eevee to play with, with the bloom and depth of field and all this <laughs> subsurface scattering? It's just great fun. And oh, I can chuck some lights in. Everything's at night time now. Uh, all my renders, they're all at night, uh, which seems a bit ludicrous uh, because who rock climbs at night? That, that's, they were obviously under pressure. These are being chased and they happen to be a climber, so they were getting out of. Uh, Getting, escaping somewhere uh, by climbing this mountain. A lot of pressure on them today. Uh, so well done to this young lady here. <laughs> well, now I'm rambling again. It, it's been a long day. I've tried to get uh, a couple of sculpts in today and a couple of sculpts yesterday. So this is Sunday, so I'm recording this a day early. So I'm glad I'm slightly ahead of myself because like I said, I've got a tough week. And here I am rambling again. Anyway, <laughs> uh, back to the the model. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I uh, should be saying. Uh, no, actually, uh, there's, there's uh, no particular questions. Um, I already got I always got notes in front of me just in case there's anything uh, I should be saying. All the links are in the description for all the uh, how to use the brushes and uh, basics of sculpting. I have updated my website as well, so uh, you can go on there. But it's a weird one with the website because uh, lots of people are saying. Uh, well, I've had lots of comments saying it doesn't look very good, um, which is fair enough. And yes, I, I should do better, uh, really. Uh, but again, it, it's not really, uh, although it, does, it brings in a tiny bit of income from the affiliated links, it's not my main focus. Uh, so my main focus is getting better at sculpting and getting better at Blender. And th I think that's uh, advantageous to my viewers as well because I pass on that knowledge. Uh, but in terms of my website and how it looks, it's not really a priority for me. Um, but thank you for the offer of help that I've had uh, from different people. I appreciate that. In fact, I've got to get back to someone that reminds me. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's, it's been a long day and I'm rambling. Uh, so I'll try not to do too much of that. Uh, I wanted to make this female character uh, more muscular, like a proper rock climber. Uh, the uh, base mesh was quite thin and spindly, which is more sort of anime style, uh, which is a bit silly really, isn't it? Because um, if you're going to be a, a cool warrior or rock climber in this case, uh, you'd expect to see uh, some muscles there. Uh, when you're doing abs, uh, interesting, I looked at lots of female bodybuilders and uh, abs are very rarely uh, symmetrical in any way. They're, they're quite kind of distorted, and especially when uh, you've got a pose on the side like this. So uh, don't do the classic sort of uh, cross abs, the six pack that just looks straight lines. Uh, you should have a lot of asymmetry uh, in your abs. Uh, that's worth uh, noting if you're doing any um, anatomy. Uh, clothing is, uh, is easy enough if I'm not saying this is perfect, but it's easy enough for a model like this where you're looking at from a distance. So I do a very sort of basic uh, clay brush over the top of my model uh, just to quickly give the outline of the clothes. And um, I looked at a few female rock climbers as well and the sort of kit that they wear. Generally they'd have some sort of ropes attached to them, but this one's a free climber, I'm really feeling the pressure of course. Um, so uh, I couldn't be bothered to model any ropes and uh, was it chalk pouches and things that they have uh, with them and stuff. Uh, but that just uh, too much effort. Uh, but yes, this one's a free climber. It uh, doesn't need any of that paraphernalia that comes with climbing. Uh, live, in the, live in the dream very dangerously. I, I'm rambling again, sorry. Uh, back to it. So uh, I'm getting a bit quicker at this sort of thing and you, you do notice these sort of uh, techniques after you do it a few times of uh, like knees. Uh, it's just sort of doing a, a circle at the end of the knee with the um, edge brush and you just sort of end up with a sort of kneecap and then it has a dent underneath it. And that's a quick way of doing a kneecap. It always looks reasonably okay, especially from a distance. 
so uh, it's nice to learn those quick tricks and that kind of is what anatomy is uh, if I can say that I'm still at an early stage of my artistic career I would say and uh, a relatively uh, well as this person said I'm not much of an artist uh, but I, I think I'm learning these tricks uh, to try and uh, speed up my workflow uh, make things look better uh, and more realistic and then uh, that's when you can go off and do sort of more um, abstract things that work uh, you see some people who do cartoon characters I've talked about this before but it's people who do cartoon characters but they work so well and you think they've captured uh, a person so well and yet turn them into a cartoon uh, amazing stuff and it's it's quite a skill and you really need to be able to draw in the first place I've been having a few debates with people recently uh, and most people are of the same mind about uh, contemporary art and uh, whether you need to have any skill to be an artist um, I'm in the camp that uh, I'm not saying you're not an artist but um, I don't really uh, rate in as high regard uh, artists who can't draw um, or, to, or who haven't really got a skill as such uh, they're just creative uh, so they come up with ideas not saying there's anything wrong with uh, coming up with good ideas and some ideas you think oh that is very clever and I appreciate that but still I, I'm more in the camp that you really need skill to back up your uh, creativity um, and I, I don't particularly like um, I'm really rambling now aren't I <laughs> I don't particularly like uh, um, art galleries or artists that just try and shock you and say this is art because it's shocking uh, that I find that that's getting a bit cliched for me but anyway that's that's my opinion and you can comment in the description in the in the comment below sorry uh, what you think about uh, contemporary art uh, but I absolutely love uh, comic book art and uh, the, this new spider-man movie art like that where they're expressing emotion uh, real skill gone into that uh, to express emotion but with a limited resource as well in the sort of comic book style anyway uh, so yes uh, everything's at night time with Evie uh, because it looks so great um, and uh, I'm trying sort of fiddling around with the rock texture at the moment and it looks all right here but when I rendered it it looked uh, dreadful uh, and that often is the case for some reason uh, when I go to render it's not as good as my viewport and uh, it might just be that it's on a bigger screen so you, I'm looking at it through uh, at half the, its resolution in the sense in, the, in this section here and then suddenly when it's full screen you see all the uh, inaccuracies uh, and I think that's all that is uh, so uh, lots of playing around with lighting and things and um, I really ought to stop doing that because that's taking up a lot of my time and I ought to be spending more time on the sculpture really but uh, like I say you always want it to look nice don't you it's uh, one of those things um, that you spent all this time modeling it you want to show it off in the best way possible <clears throat> the only problem with Eevee I suppose and when you put volumetrics in you really see the light source uh, so you have to kind of hide them unless you want the light source in the shot uh, but in this case I didn't uh, so I it clipped, stayed, steered clear of the volumetrics this time it does uh, Eevee can make uh, bad sculpts look quite good um, which is uh, kind of fun uh, but uh, I was quite pleased with this sculpt and I think I ended up not showing it off in the best way so I uh, scrubbed all that and uh, ended up doing this particular final piece here uh, which you can see uh, so I thought I'd emerge from around the rock as well a bit of cinematography going on there as well so I had real good fun with that uh, so onto the discord server your work here uh, uh, lovely work there from I can't work out who that is actually that at uh, Rufenstent or something, uh, very cool, uh, like that one. Uh, this must be at Split, I'm assuming, that's a nice one. Uh, and oh, that is a Manu, Manuhu, Manuhu uh, who's work, uh, Split, that's a clever idea like that. Another one with Split, that's another clever idea. And uh, that one is Ashara, I think. Uh, and a clever one there for Split, Split P. Uh, some good fun ones uh, today. Not many of them because I'm sort of uh, slightly ahead of myself uh, so I'm slightly ahead of you guys uh, but that's my favorite I think uh, the, the splitting axe splitting the wood uh, brilliant stuff so that's it from me sorry about all the rambling today uh, and I hope you're still with me uh, thanks very much for watching and thanks for all your support and all your comments uh, I will see you next time